Yeah, I want to know, man, like, how the fuck did you get a, a record named after you? What, what what happened? Like, what was the process of that? My assumptions, my hypothesis to that to that question yeah. is that, see, when I when I was trying for the Red and Meth album, it was supposed to be Eric and Rizzo. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, um, they were being real, like, hard about anybody outside of Rizzo and E. Mm -hmm. So, um, I was trying hard to be on this album, man. So, the Red kept sending me back, kept sending me back. So I actually came up with that record right there, and when, I, and when I actually did that record, I don't think there was room to actually put another song. So they they were supposed to be an interlude. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of like the rock wall, like you know, what I'm saying like, you know, like from the way I I heard it, so many stories. It was kind of like just supposed to be an interlude. Mm -hmm. And then when they went, because Tear the Roof Off was supposed to be the single, mm -hmm. and um, they had a, a, a listening party out here in the city, and. Um, Ellis, which was my manager at the time, he, he managed his man, he called me and said, yo, you know, the rock wall was gonna be the single. I said, how's it gonna be the single? It was on the interlude. Yeah. He said, they played it at the listening party and the kids requested it so much because it was so short, it kept, right. they kept wanting to hear it again. Yeah. And um, yeah. they said, uh, Leo Cohn was like, this is the single. And they was like, no, I tell you the is the single. They said, he said, no, this one is the single. Wow. Yeah. Right yeah. Yeah. So that's why it's so short. Yeah, it's so short because it was kind of supposed to be an interlude just from one song to go to the next. Did you know it was going to be as big as it actually turned never, out to be? Never, like, you know what I'm never, saying? never, never, never would have thought. Don't. I used to go to the tunnel and sometimes they would play it so much I, guess I used to get scared. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They used to play it so much because they would play that and then they would play Do It Again by Jay-Z and it would be back to back. They'd play it back to back. Right, right. And I was like, nah, I said, damn, man. Said. I always wanted a hit record, but shit. shit. What's crazy you know what about that record though is that it put your name on fucking blast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Everybody yeah. started looking for you. Yeah, yeah. 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 It, was, it, was a, it was a gift and yeah. a curse because, you know what I'm saying, like I said before, I was one of those kids that was kind of like a crib person. I hung out with my boys and just chilled mm -hmm. out, and that's all I knew and that's all I wanted to know. Right, right. But it seemed like the, the whole, because a lot of celebrities, a lot of um, people in the music industry, that was the same. Then they were figuring out too. How did you get a record name that right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, who are you to be yeah, yeah, doing yeah, it? Yeah, like, yeah. Janet used to ask me that all the time. Like, you know what I'm wow. saying? Like, how did they name the song after you? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know. <laughs> so it, 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 it became a gift and a curse because, you know, there was a lot of things that came with it that, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was just being a, I guess, a curious person <laughs> about the industry. Right, right, right. 